Hey guys and welcome back to another video. Today I'll be showing you how to update your Nexus 6P to the latest security, or not security, a performance update. So if we head over to our Google Chromes, you can see that they have released, uh, released the MHC19i right after the March update, about two days after. So you, you may be thinking, oh, I should update to that. But you actually have to do uh, one more thing before you do that. You need to update your TWRP to about, or not to about, to the latest one. So that's 3.001. That is to fix the encryption bug that has been occurring after updating. That TWRP was not able to decrypt your data partition. But now that's fixed. So I'll be showing you how to upgrade to that. And these are the things you're going to need. Obviously, you're going to want to download the factory image for the M, uh, MHC19i and download that. You also, so yeah, just click on that link over there. The other file you want is the Android Tools folder, and that just contains the adb.exe, fastboot.exe, and the two Win APIs, uh, ADB Win API DLLs. So you need that as well. Let's move off, move that off to one side, and you'll need to choose either the normal TWRP, the latest version here, or if you have multi-ROM installed like I do. So I'm going to head over uh, down into the multi-ROM. Uh, XDA thread here, and all you need to do is scroll down and download the latest TWRP and the multi ROM installer flash or zip because you want to make sure those two are up to date. And so, we're going to download the TWRP and just save it anywhere. I will have a uh, folder where everything goes afterwards, anyway. So, you're going to download the TWRP recovery and, of course, the latest uh, multi ROM. Flash wall or installer, which will definitely help our what we're doing here. This is if you have multi ROM, of course. If you don't have multi ROM, don't worry about all of this. So I'll be back when it's all finished. What you need to do is create a new folder somewhere. For example, I have a room on my D drive. So you want to make a new folder, right click new folder and name it Android. And that will let us, or well, that will allow us to organize everything. So what you'll need is to open up the Android tools that you had, extract all the four files there. Also for convenience, you want to copy whichever TWRP image you need. So like I said, if you need multi-ROM, download the multi-ROM one please. And if you don't need it, just download the regular TWRP 3.001 that fixes the patch. So that this one fixes it. And of course you'll need the factory image itself. So you want to copy that over as well. And I'm just going to copy over the uh, MHC19i factory image, which I forgot to download, so it's kind of awkward. Shouldn't take too long. And by this time, you should have. Oh, also, make sure it has TGZ as an extension and not TAR because. Um, Okay, happen. so now we're going to plug in our phone just through the USB cable and we're going to make sure that it has the USB for file transfers and not charging and we can set that down Whoops, one to one side we're going to open up our internal storage and all you need to do is make sure I have it in my downloads folder make sure that you have the latest Super SU your multi-ROM installer if you need it so in this case it's a stable 4 version, I'm just going to copy that over. And that's it. We're going to flash TWRP, the update afterwards, after this. So once you've copied over SuperSU and of course your multi ROM if you need it, just close the windows. We're going to grab our phone and we're going to hold the power button and turn our power off. We're going to disconnect our USB cable as well. And just wait for that to turn off. Now once it's off, hold the power and volume down buttons and we'll get into the bootloader like that. Just like so. Plug in the USB cable again. And set our phone aside. Now here with the folder with uh, all these, the ADB, EXE, DLL, fastboot.exe, of course we have our multi ROM recovery and yeah, that's what we're going to flash right now, the multi ROM recovery first. And then we'll go over to flashing the factory images. Now, I'm doing this video afterwards, all this, 
because the multi-ROM with TWRP uh, was not released yet. So it may look a little bit different between this video. So as usual, we're going to type in fastboot, flash, recovery, leave a space on the end, and just move this window so you can see this one, and drag in our multi-ROM recovery just like that, and hit enter. Now you can also do this from, the, from TWRP itself, but if you already updated it, uh, updated to the March performance update, then you won't be doing that anytime soon. So nice. Okay. And also, we're going to need to extract these files now. So once you got the recovery flashed, that's uh, pretty much all you need. So you're going to open the TGZ file up. You can see this little folder. We're going to open inside and extract all of these into the base directory, just like that. So just drag it in. You can see it's extracting. There we go. And it's got to copy it too. Like that. And then open up the zip file. You can close the other one. This one will have all the images there. You want to... Actually... Yeah, we'll just do it like that. Don't want to go around deleting files out of um, the thing. So... Extract all of those files. I mean, we could try the script and delete um, the recovery image from the zip file, but I'd like to leave that intact just in case. So it's going to copy all those images across. Like that. So you're going to have... Uh, a million files in here. That's alright. Go back to our command prompt. And one thing I forgot to copy over was the latest version of Super SU. I assume you already have that on your SD card somewhere. And of course, oh, um, and that's it. So, just for rerouting. And of course, if you need to use Exposed, you'll need the Exposed Framework Zip as well already on your phone. Or you can copy it later when it's in TWRP. So, now that we've got heaps of files, I'm going to have to zoom out again. And basically, what we're going to do is kind of do a split window thing. And what we need to type in here is fastboot slash bootloader. Leave a space in the end. Drag in our bootloader image. Here it is. Hit enter. Next, we're going to reboot the phone. So type in fastboot reboot dash bootloader. Just like that. And your phone will reboot back into back into the bootloader like that. Once it's done that, what I need to do is flash the radio. So type in fast boot flash radio. So leave a space in the end. I'm going to drag in the radio image. Hit enter. And I'm going to press the up arrow key on our keyboard twice so we can get back to the fast boot reboot dash bootloader command, hit enter again so we can reboot our device back into the bootloader. Once it's back in, now we're going to start flashing each of the images. So here's another kind of fork in the road. If you have a custom kernel installed, such as the Elemental X, um, which is something you kind of need for Multiwom, and they have a version of their own, um, if I bring it up here, they have their own hardboot enabled kernel, from based off the stock kernel I suppose. But I have the Elemental X kernel already installed. So if you have a custom kernel um, that's up to date to the latest one, you don't need to flash boot the boot image over here. But if you don't have it or you're running the stock image, uh, the stock kernel, sorry, um, then you'll want to flash the boot image. So in case you need to do it, all you need to do is type in fast boot, flash boot, drag in the boot image like that, and then hit enter. So well, I'm not, I don't, I'm not going to flash the boot image here. So once you've done that, if you need to, we're going to flash the system image now. So type in fastboot, flash, system, leave a space in the end. I'm going to drag in our system image like that, hit enter. Okay, so now that's done, took about a minute. And we're going to flash the vendor image last. So type in fastboot, flash vendor, leave a space on the end, drag over the vendor image, hit enter. Okay, 
Excellent. So, now finished, and you'll be wondering, oh, we haven't flashed the cache image, recovery, or user data, and we don't want to, because flashing the recovery image will, like, void what we just did with TWRP, updating it, and the cache you can erase, no point in flashing the image, and user data, you don't want to lose any data. So, the last thing we're going to do is type in, or erase the cache, so we're going to type in fastboot, erase, cache, hit enter, doesn't take long. So now to root our phone, or the rooting process now, is essentially you go down, down, go to recovery mode. I'm just going to angle the camera down a little bit. And there we go. We're going to see it's still 3.0, but hopefully it will ask for us to decrypt our data. Or not even. Um, I don't think mine is encrypted actually, but if it did, it would definitely ask because before it would throw up an error. So now we can access our data stuff. So now all you need to do is flash SuperSU, swipe to install. There we are, that's alright. We go back one, and we'll see that we have also the latest multi ROM. Oh, which one is it? There we go. So, flash multi ROM if you need, and also you want to flash the exposed framework if you need it as well. I don't use exposed personally, so I won't be needing to flash that. So, make sure you flash exposed if you need it. I'm going to hit back, and for multi ROM users, head over to the multi ROM menu, hit the three dots up there, and then tap on inject multi ROM. You want to inject the current boot sector and just swipe that so it can do its job and once that is done feel free to reboot the system and then we have it we've successfully updated our phone and kept multi-ROM root and possibly exposed if you had that I don't and we should see our phone go into the multi-ROM menu there we are we're just going to boot the internal ROM because I need to show you that I'm on the latest update now and that you can see my ROM previously it will still be there if your phone doesn't turn on afterwards or get stuck on the black screen after selecting it from the multi ROM menu or even just booting up you may want to try flashing a kernel, your kernel again and then injecting multi ROM once more so here I'm just going to install the EX kernel right away just go through this real quick and then install hit next, finish and then click on inject current boot partition inject that and then afterwards just reboot your phone now we should be able to boot into our primary ROM from the multi ROM menu there we have it, it's optimizing now if we zoom in should be able to see that it's optimizing apps right now so that's a good sign usually when you flash the system again you get some uh, optimizing or you know, applications optimizing and if you clear the cache which I did as well just in case so after this you should be able to see that I'm on the latest March update or the second one the one that uh, improves performance and kills some bugs so I'll be back in a sec when all this is done radio so now we're booted up Gonna put in our passcode and everything's stayed the same. We've got one app here, we've got Super SU. Let's have a look at the settings first. And we're gonna scroll all the way down to about phone and we're gonna see the MHC 19i build number. As you can see, we are updated. We have the Elemental X kernel. So that did the job. If you have problems booting, please flash your kernel again after flashing Super SU. And down below we have Super SU and no thanks. As you can see, we are fully functional, although I don't have any root apps to show, but I guarantee it should work. Otherwise, I'll tell you that the binaries are missing. And that's about it, guys. Thanks for watching, and I hope you enjoyed this video. If it did help you, please feel free to leave a like down below. And if you have any problems or questions, feel free to leave a comment down below as well. So, and I'll, thanks guys, and I'll talk to you in the next one.